Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise and I am proud parent to two adult children. Blossom who doesn't live with me, Corey who does. I've got two dogs, Chip and Dow. On cue, start patting around at the floor. They're both down here at the moment. This is not a planned vlog. Oh, if you hear the, oh, let me pause this, sorry. Do apologize, I forgot to, Chantelle or Foodie Beauty is in the background. <laughs> She's a thing today, I'll <laughs> talk about that in a minute. I just have all this stuff in my head and I just thought, okay, let's just talk it out. Um, it's just been a strange day. Um, okay, so first thing I wanted to say is, I just want to let anybody know that's new here and don't know that I've got fibro. And the reason I wanna mention that is because when I've been doing my editing, I've been realizing that my words Oh, don't know what that was. My words are um, not flowing quite as well as they should be. It's not unusual for me, but I didn't realise how bad things had gotten until I was editing. Uh, there's lots of pauses, which is where I'm literally trying to find the words in my head. It's it's a fibro thing. Um, and a lot of the times I'm actually saying a sentence thinking it's coming out fine because I'm not correcting myself. Clearly, I think it's fine. Editing it and realising wow there's a, a it's happening a lot um i'm not going to be editing it out a lot because it's me it's just me i mean why would i do that uh, unless it's like really obvious and i think okay they might not know what that word what i was trying to get at then i will do it um but i just wanted to let you know in case you just think that I don't know what I don't even know what you think but I you just want to let you know if you're new here that's the reason it keeps happening because i'm not going to keep cutting them out I have been doing a fair bit and there's still been quite a bit in there so it's quite bad at the moment. It's just, it, like most things in fibro, things flare up, things go down at the moment. Clearly my brain's just a thing. Um, not that it was ever normal. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to get that bit out of the way. Um, and then today, I sort of amused myself today. Um, so I've mentioned before a few weeks ago how there's I, I feel like I'm not my, my I'm a new person or something like I don't feel myself in not in a bad way like I'm just doing things that are just not normal to me um, so today was one of those days the idea was I was just gonna get up put around uh, edit my video for the Saturday haul so today is Saturday um, I recorded it Friday so I'm just gonna get up edit it in the morning, have some breakfast, pot around the house. I realised that there were two things that I didn't do that I needed to do. I needed to get my gas and electric. I got a list because I can't remember any of it. And prescription. I forgot my prescription as well. So I knew I was going to go to the town today. And Corey said, if you pop into town, can you pick me up a cork board? Because he hates shopping. Like, he absolutely hates going into town. So, wrote it down. Three things. Actually got more on my list after that. So, um, I thought if I'm getting a pinball, I'll probably go into the pound store. This is going to be a long one, really. <laughs> I'm going to be so impressed if you stick with this. Um, <laughs> right, my light's going up and down. Nothing unusual with that either. So, pound store, I thought I'd get the pinball in there. And I wanted to get the dog treats that I mentioned in my Saturday haul. That I wanted to get another packet of dog treats in there. Um, sandwich bags have just been on this forever and it's still on there because I still didn't get them. Uh, yeah, the prescription gas and electric. Whilst I was getting ready today, <laughs> I was watching Chantel, who I'm watching again, or Foodie, Be Foodie Beauty. Uh, I don't know what it is about her. I just watch her streams. And I, it's not, there's nothing great going on. She eats a lot. She tells us all this stuff, how she's going to make her life better and she doesn't do it. I guess maybe I'm just watching the hoping she will prove us wrong and make a good life for herself. I don't know what it is. So anyway, yeah, I was watching her and she was eating some chips and dips, uh, ruffles, which I thought, oh my God, I have not had ruffles for so long. Googled it, can't get them here anyway. Not anymore. Uh, so I was going to get chips and dip as well. Wrote that on the list. Um, right, so that was the plan. Stick to the list. Go home. <laughs> Didn't. Got into town. Went into the pound store first, didn't have the pinballed, did pick up dog treats though, so we're great, good so far. We just spent pound in uh, the pound store getting the dog treats, these are the ones that I was talking about that they like, um, it's the duck steaks, this duck and cod, 86%, so that's a really good ratio of meat in that, and they're the soft ones. One of those I actually split in half for the dogs, and they're good to go for them, so 
Great, we got the first one off of our list. Then I thought, I'm gonna go into that charity shop that I've been into before. See, already deviated off my list. Um, they were in a small store in the end and I knew they were moving to a larger store, so I spent an awful lot of time in there. I only came out with one thing though, so that was fine. I got another bottle, 50 p. I bought bottles a while ago from Pound Store, two pack for a pound. They were rubbish. When you squirt that bit, it all leaks out of here. So I needed one of these anyway. Went and got my gas and electric next, so great, that's off the list. Then I went straight across because there's a savers, no, there's a pound stretcher directly across. Uh, went into pound stretcher to try and get the pinballed, didn't have one in there, didn't come out with anything, I, great. So I thought, okay, we'll go Asda because they have that uh, stationary bit and they might have in there. So went into Asda. Now, before, when I was watching Foodie Beauty and the chips and dips, so I thought I'll get the chips and dips in there and the prescription. So I went and looked at the dips. They had two types of dips. They had the classic dip selection, which is the one I ended up getting, or a Tex-Mex one. But the classic dip selection's got cheese and chive, onion and garlic, Thousand Island and sour cream and onion. So I thought that one sounded quite good. Whilst I was there, those were uh, all the like olives and all this, uh, all the, I don't know what they're called, tapas packets and things, I think that's what they're called. The dips are two pounds. That's quite expensive for me. I would never do it. This is the weird bit about, this was a shop that I would never do. I came up with so much stuff. I never would have paid these prices for these items. I just wouldn't have done it. But I saw this, soft cheese and herb olives. One pound 75 for that little thing. I'm not even a massive fan of olives. Don't ever go to the town when you're hungry. So I bought the dips for two pounds, this for one pound 75 already. I never would pay that much just for this. Then we went and got some chips. Now this is, I guess, this is the texture of ruffles. Paprika, absolutely love paprika. Did look at some others, was gonna buy another packet, but I restrained myself, which was weird, considering the mood I'm in. <laughs> Found these reduced now. That, that is me, if it's reduced and rebuy it. 56p bagels, there's five in there. These are decent ones as well, so just little pop, pop them in the freezer, have them whenever. Then I picked, um, none of this was on my list, remember? So these are cheese and onion rolls. I'd actually thought about these on my way through the store. I thought, ooh, I quite fancy them. I haven't I hadn't had something like that for a while. Thinking they won't have any because they don't normally and there was just one packet on there so I sort of convinced myself it was meant to be. £1.50 for them so again they're not particularly cheap. Not in my my stinginess type cheap. <laughs> then, <laughs> I don't even know. £1.65 for a loaf of sourdough bread. Now that probably is good. I don't buy sourdough bread enough to know but I don't need it. Yep, don't need it. I was just thinking, oh, I can make myself like a little platter meal type thing because I'm clearly hungry. I am hungry now as well. <laughs> so I left Asda spending £8.46 when really I should have only spent £3. Um, yeah, I wasn't even thinking. I. I was thinking, I knew exactly what I was doing. And, and this is what I me, mean just this doesn't feel like me. I never do this. I always penny pinch, but. Oh dear. What I didn't come out of Asda with was my prescription. So I still don't have a prescription. <laughs> then I remembered going in Iceland a few weeks ago and thinking they, there was this ice cream in there that I'd never seen before. And I thought, oh, fancy some ice cream. Not massive ice cream person, unless it's in a cone either, and this is not in a cone. Went in there and came out with <laughs> some twisty cheddar thingies. Uh, they're like the crackers and they've got cheddar and they're just crunchy. I thought they would go nice with the dip, a pound. Don't need them. Got bread and everything, but still did it. And then they only had one of these left as well, <laughs> which was actually the ice cream. So this was two pounds. And it's a triple layer chocolate ice cream. And the layers are milk chocolate, milk chocolate ice cream and chocolate ice cream with white chocolate sauce. Okay, that wasn't even what I thought it was. So 
think I might have got the wrong one. I thought the one I saw had praline in it. Okay, so anyway, I have some ice cream that I weren't planning on getting. And I did <laughs> finally find a pinball for Corey. I think he wanted a smaller one, but cannot, you can't get a pinball in the town anywhere. Four pounds for that one. So another thing off the list. But yeah, I didn't get the prescription, which was probably the most important thing. I do have one more tablet left, though, so I can pop into town tomorrow. Don't know what I'm going to come back with. I'm going to really try to be strong. But yeah, I'm going to have a nice dinner tonight. And I was originally going to have the pizza that I bought on Saturday's haul. But I'm not going to have the pizza now. Yeah, so I just thought I'm going to... I literally just got in and I had to go and change my trousers because it's hotter out there than I thought. And I had big, thick jogging bottoms on. Um, fed the dogs put chicken those barbecue chicken thingies in that i bought a few weeks ago from farm foods and um thought i'll jump on and recall this because this is the rubbish that i like watching <laughs> so i thought maybe you would um maybe i'll go try and make this a sort of vlog and uh yeah i'm gonna go and prepare this and I will show you the end result of whatever, because I don't even know what I'm planning yet until I've done it. Uh, gonna watch some more Foodie Beauty. Probably shouldn't do that because she's the one who keeps making me fancy things. Um, maybe I need to find a channel where they're eating healthy foods. Oh well, I'm not that bothered. I'm quite happy actually. Oh, and another thing. So Scott, uh, last time he was here he bought a big packet of beers because whenever he does pop down he does like to have a beer um, he left them here clearly because whenever he comes back he wants them here he doesn't have to cart them here and um, by the way Scott I started drinking your beers <laughs> that's again <laughs> I don't drink beer <laughs> you know I, I like a beer occasionally but he's all, he always offers a beer and I always say no <laughs> but I'm a few beers in so I use beers because <laughs> I'm sure you'll be watching this um, yeah I don't know I'm just amusing myself today with nothing but there you go it's a good day I, you know i i tell you all when i'm feeling down or i'm miserable or whatever i mean there are good days in between so you have to talk about the good days too um yeah so 13 and a half minutes of talking i hope i can uh, cut some of this out because i'm hoping to put some other things in it yeah i'll see you soon right so this is it this is dinner we have a cheese and onion sausage roll thing tomatoes gherkin pickled onions pickled cabbage the paprika crinkly crisps sourdough bread the cheesy sticks barbecued chicken and then yes i've tried all the dips and i like them all which was really good and I actually don't dislike this as much as i thought so and obviously scott's beer um yeah so i guess the beer's gonna taste better as it's not mine i'm going to enjoy it i will see you later hello so we're in the garden because i was going to i'm going to show you the flowers the update of the flowers um leaves i should say leaves okay so we're having some issues let me show you this is what we have way bigger than last time you saw clearly not looking happy this is only like the past two days this has happened we've not had any flowers at all though they're just not looking happy and something's eating them as you can see so i thought it was slugs because of the trails so i've put some slug tape on there it's supposed to deter them i don't know if it's made any difference or not we have some climbers so i just put like this literally just sat at the back because there's some climbers going on so there is stuff happening <laughs> i'm not good at this well i'm good at growing leaves clearly because there's a lot and then this is what's going on with the last lot of flowers which i'm confused about so we've got different leaves if you remember this one was just the one flower i can't remember what name it is now um but different leaves make me think that something else is going on in there maybe i'm just overthinking it there's possibly some buds going on in there just here i don't think you can really tell it just looks a little green Hmm. I'm happy we've got some growth, but no flowers. And our carrots. So we had all the little, look like grass in here before. And then like, overnight it completely disappeared. So I thought, okay, we've lost the lot. And then this has started to happen again. We have these leaves, which I don't know what's going on there because I believe this is the carrot one. 
So we possibly got a carrot going on in there. I don't even know anymore. I'm making sure they don't get too dry, but it rains quite a lot. I've only had to actually water them once. And then bottom pot, this is all just weeds that's coming up through the back, which I'm going to take down. So yeah, don't know what to say. So we definitely have growth. And the dogs come out as soon as I come out. Hello. Hello. You okay? So that's it. That's another week done. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will see you on Saturday. Bye.